A thousand years ago, India contributed to the world in terms of 53 percent of the world's economy was India. A five hundred years ago, we were about twenty-six percent of the world's economy. When the British left us in 1947, we were three point six percent of the world's economy. Today we have risen to six percent, but as a population, we are almost twenty-five percent of the world's population. We must at least achieve this twenty-five percent of the world's economy in the remaining five to ten years. If we do not do this, we will keep our people subjugated forever. We are at a unique time, that is for the first time, for the very first time, we have the necessary tools, we have resources, we have the capability and we have the technology to address every human problem in this country and the rest of the world. This generation has a unique opportunity that we can move about six hundred million people from one level of existence to a completely different level of existence in an incredibly short time because we have all the means in place, the only thing that is missing is an inclusive consciousness among the people. And this is going to be the fundamental challenge that we will not identify with little identities that we have around us, we will not demolish them either because you cannot demolish that, but a larger identity of the nation. The youth of India today has this tremendous possibility, responsibility and a privilege in front of you that you could change the way people live in this country. We have had a whole lot of people, almost three-fourths of this nation's population has had such a bad deal. Such a bad deal, a large part of them are still in a, an extremely bad situation where about twenty-nine rupees is wealth per day. When we are in such a situation, we have an opportunity to change this, we have everything in place, only you and me have to get into place, that's the only thing that's missing. To make India once again a glorious nation, when I talk about glory, I'm not talking about the economic or the military prowess of the nation, yes, that is also needed, but more than that, India should embrace the world like a garland. India is capable of bringing a new level, new paradigm of success into the world, a new paradigm of what it means to be successful in terms of bringing human well-being. We have the necessary technologies and the wisdom to make this happen. We have to make this world a beautiful place, not by conquest, not by capturing, but by captivating the world. 